Today I've been ranking the best anime girls from the anime series Amagami SS. I will only be talking about the girls that actually date the main character. I won't be talking about the side characters. This is a very popular romance anime series in a very unique format in terms of romance. Instead of the main character choosing just one girl at the end, the anime series showed multiple scenarios of the main character ending up with a different girl. Number 7 on my list is Rihoko. She is easily the worst character in the show. She is the most boring child of friend. It has been many years since I watched the anime series, and the most memorable thing about her is that she loves eating food. That is pretty much all I can remember her by. She doesn't have any personality traits that stand out. She is not even attractive. In season 1, she didn't do much in terms of getting close to the main character. Her arc in season 1 was absolutely boring. Even in Amagami SS Plus, it took her so long to actually get together with the main character. She made this anime series absolutely boring at times. Number 6 on my list is Saie. She has a cute face and nice body, but that's pretty much it. Her personality is pretty much a typical shy, quiet girl. She barely says anything entertaining. Some guys are into the shy type, but I find them boring. Number 5 on my list is Risa. She got the short end of the stick. She barely got any screen time in this anime series. She felt like a secret girl could date after you date all the other girls in the visual novel. She is pretty much a mild version of a yandere. She won't do anything violent, but she'll try to scare girls away from the main character. I like her character design. Her yandere personality is kind of entertaining, but there's not much screen time for her personality to develop beyond just being a typical yandere. Number 4 on my list is Ai, also known as Nanasaki. Her appearance looks cute, she has a playful personality, and it was entertaining seeing her T's main character. Every moment with her is so lively and entertaining. Number 3 on my list is Kaoru. I would say Saie and Nanasaki are cute as characters, which is nice, but Kaoru is hot. When she teases you, it feels a lot different than her typical teasing. She makes you feel shy and embarrassed. You really want to be around her. Number 2 on my list is Tsukasa. This was a very tough choice because I like Tsukasa's arc in the anime series the most, but she is simply not the best female character on this list. I like Tsukasa not only because of her attractive face, but for her entertaining personality. She may seem like a proper girl with great manners at first, but then she shows you her crazy side and can help but be entertained by it. Every moment is a must watch because you don't know what crazy thing she will say or do next. It feels like she could just snap. She is not a yandere. But I prefer this kind of behavior much more than a typical average yandere because how random it is. With an average yandere character, I can pretty much predict she'll go after every girl that is close to the main character. I can predict a standard yandere behavior, but Tsukasa's behavior is such a wild card. Number 1 on my list is of course Haruka. She is the girl that every guy wishes he could be with. She has great looks, great charisma, she has a lively and energetic personality, she says funny things at times, and starts all sorts of entertaining conversations. She is basically the perfect girl. Everyone wants to be around her. 